what is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel now in tonight's video we are going to be attempting to free the spirit of Michael and maybe Edgar um, I'm not sure how well this is going to work but I'm going to try to uh, ask more questions see if their relationship got a little better from the last time I spoke with them um, Michael was really stern and set on not wanting to leave being scared to cross over in fear of what's after where he's at now which I believe is a stage of purgatory but um we're gonna try our best we'll do what we can I'm gonna try to bring him outside see if he can uh show me the roundabout area of where all this played out guys if you have no idea what I'm even talking about please make sure you go back and check out the last two videos I break everything down especially in the first video also in the second video as well so make sure you head over check out the last two videos by the way you guys i want to say thank you guys so much for the ones who've been watching like and commenting i have gotten so many comments the past few days on a lot of you guys saying that you love the style that i do as far as investigating how respectful i am to spirits and all that and i greatly appreciate that guys if you are looking to be a paranormal investigation a, a paranormal investigator and you're trying to get in this type of field that's probably my biggest tip that I can give you. Please be respectful to the spirits. For one, if you're not, not only could bad things happen to you, but you probably won't get a very good communication with them. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I greatly appreciate it. Now, with all that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, I got all the devices set up right here behind me, as you can see. Um, I ran across this app, you guys, and I just downloaded it. This is called The Miracle Box from Steve Huff and uh, Chill Seekers. So I'll break down more about this app in the next video when we go out and about and we really test it out. But it seemed pretty interesting. So I went ahead and downloaded it. Now this is pretty cool, you guys. So pretty much you got your little word bank there of the spirit that you're trying to get in contact with. Now I was just messing around with this. I asked two questions in which I went to male child and I asked if anybody was there. It came back it said yes. And I said who am I speaking to? And this thing is swear to God it sounded like it said Michael. So that would be pretty wild. We're going to play around with this app. Pretty much um, there's no dictionary in this app there's no pre-planned words in here so it's pretty much whatever you capture is what you get you can record your sessions on this thing so it's pretty cool but like I said I'll break this down in the next video when we really test it out we're going to mess around with it a little bit in this video and I'll probably switch back over to the spirit talker app so let's go ahead and get right on into this all right you guys so I got the flux 2 out I got three K2 meters. I got that one, the two green dots you see up there, and I got one down here. The rim pod, and there's also a cat ball on the other side of the rim pod on the left hand side. So I got the app out right here, the Miracle Box. I got it on Mel Child. Don't know how well you can see that. Mel Child. So we're going to go ahead and start asking some questions and see if we can get in contact with Michael. Is there any spirits here that would like to communicate? I'm not sure what that said. What is your name? What is your name? Did that just say Mikey? Did you just say my name? Hello. Michael, are you here with me right now? Can you come through? Hello. It's a little bit of jibber jabber. But also you can um go back on your recording and replay it Michael did you 
Make peace with your dad. How many spirits are here with me right now? A lot. Michael, do you want to talk about your story? Aren't you guys so? I have no idea what that is even saying. It's a little bit of gibberish. So I would have to replay that and actually see the responses I got. But it seems like it's a pretty cool app. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the Spirit Talker app. Hey Michael, it's me. It's Mikey. I wanted to see if you would like to come through and have a conversation with me. Are you still here with me? If so, can you come into this room and maybe touch one of these devices and light them up? Let me know that you're here with me. You don't have to be afraid. Michael, are you still here? Give me a sign that you're here with me. Yes. Yes. You are here. Thank you. Michael, are you able to um, come outside and show me? where all this happened and maybe clear some things up guys that is probably the first time I ever got a yes out of this app usually I'll get like are a, you frightened? are you frightened? no I'm not frightened I'm here to talk to you here to ask you a couple questions and see if you got more to the story or if you wanted to add on to your story because it seems like what I was able to collect wasn't the full truth so I'm giving you another opportunity to come through and let me know what exactly happened and what's going on with you I wanted to check in on you and make sure everything was okay Now guys, I will say, the past couple of days, the house has been kind of quiet. You know, there's been a couple things that happened here and there, but nothing really major. It's like he knows that I was, you know, I guess in his mind, he thinks that I'm kicking him out, trying to let him go free when he's already said that he didn't want to leave. I'll tell you what, Michael, I'm not forcing you to leave. I would just like to open a door for you and if you choose to cross over and go into the light you know that's where you would be belong but I understand if you're afraid so I'm not forcing you out of here we've seen to grow a pretty good relationship I can't protect you. What is that supposed to mean? Protect me from what? I'm not asking for any protection. I can't protect you. I've never gotten that before, ever. That is pretty weird. And so far, you guys, and none of these devices have worn off. I'm not even sure if he's in this room with me. I've learned that he can communicate very well throughout another part of the house. Michael, what do you mean by you can't protect me? Soon. Oh my god, that... Look at that, you guys. 
soon. Oh man, that gave me major chills when that went off. That gave me major chills. Thank you so much. I was not expecting that. I can't protect you soon. Sad. Are you still sad? I take it that you're trying to tell me that things have not got better for you. Now, you know, you guys, if you have been watching the channel, especially the last couple of videos, I've been getting a lot of these responses. This boy is sad. He's terrified. You know, there's a lot going on that's not being told. That's what I'm trying to do tonight. I'm trying to get answers. Why are you sad? What's going on? I don't know what made the REM pod go off, you guys, but that was a very strong connection when it went off like that. Who's here with me? Michael, do you not want to talk tonight? What's your name? What's your name? My name's Mikey. What is your name? Who am I speaking to? Guys, this might not be Michael. This could be just a random spirit that stunt came through. Because I'm pretty sure Michael knows who I am. I'm sure about now the whole family knows who I am. That's really starting to make me wonder who's here. I got it. You can't. I can't protect you. Are you frightened? It seems like something's trying to scare me. What is your name? Can you make one of those devices go off again? Thank you. Wow. Look at that. On command. That was amazing. Who is this? That was pretty cool. What is your name? Chief. 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 Uh-huh. Well, hey, Chief. How's it going? Chief, I don't mean any disrespect. I come with love and light, and I'm just asking, are you here with me? And if so, why are you here? Look at that. Look at that. Thank you so much. Now, I have gotten a couple responses so far that might have been Michael. But I'm starting to wonder now, you guys, if he's actually still here. You know, I did get that yes in the very beginning. But, you know, spirits can play tricks on you, especially evil ones. They can lie, try to manipulate you, make you think something. So I'm not too sure on who I'm speaking with. I got a name Chief. I got Star. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Do you have anything that you like to say to me? Michael. There he is. Michael. Look at that. Thank you, Michael. That was so cool. Michael, were you able to make up with your dad? you guys so I just got another response it didn't say anything which that's been common and it says my blood so I got Michael in my blood what do you mean by your blood Michael is everything okay were you able to make up with your dad no 
Damn, man, I was afraid of that. Michael, are you able to leave this house and let me show you, or you could show me where all this took place from? It just blinked red. No. So it seems like he's really trapped here, you guys. I would like to create lead. Lead. I wanted to create a door for you, Michael, so you could, you know, be free and get out of here. Was that something that maybe you would like to do? No. He doesn't want to leave. Guys, I don't even know what to do about this. I really don't. So I'm de dealing with a spirit of a child. And you know, it's really sad. He told me that his age was nine. You know, I have an eight-year-old son. So, I mean, it really... Look at that. Holy crap. As soon as I mention my son... Do you know my son? So yeah, it really hits home, you guys. You know, I could not even imagine something like that. It's crazy. This is absolutely crazy. But that's pretty wild. As soon as I mention, you know, my son, that thing starts to go off. I was a child. I know you were a child. I was a child. That's crazy. Now you had mentioned to me last time, Michael, that maybe the story had got a little twisted. Would you like to add on to the story? Can you really try to tell me what exactly happened? You have mentioned murdered. You were murdered. You know, you mentioned about the accident that happened. Did your father end up killing you and your sister? I'm from the 1900s. I'm from the 1900s, and look at that. Look at the REM pod go off, you guys. I'm from the 1900s. I've gotten this before. Same storyline. I'm from the 1900s. He was a child. This all happened in the early 1900s. That's why I said, I don't know. I don't. This house was not here back then, okay? So it couldn't have happened inside this house, but it could have happened on the land. Why he's trapped in this house, I have no idea. Maybe it's just because this is the house that they put here that's on the land. I'm not exactly sure, but this is getting to be really wild. It looks like I was just confirmed that, you know, maybe the father did kill both of his children and the blame was put on Michael. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe that's what the community thought at the time. I'm not sure. Michael, am I right about that? Did they make up some type of lie? Flux 2 just lit up green. Hmm. So is that the part in the story that was twisted? Is that what you're telling me right now? Wow. Thank you. Watch Edgar, out. watch out. And I was about to call out Edgar. I was about to call out Edgar, you guys. It said, watch out. Edgar, why did you do this? You try to play the nice role with me last time, bud. I'm not going to keep putting up with all your threats and stuff. You need to get out of here. Are 
you too scared? Are you too scared? No, I'm not scared at all. But for you to do such a thing to your own children, you know, that's pretty much, you're nothing but a coward. I can't believe people would stoop that low to do something like that. And like I've said, Edgar, I've given you plenty of chances over and over again to tell me your side of the story. But you want to keep tormenting these children. You need to leave. You need to get out of here. Look at that red. No. This is crazy, you guys. Like, what am I, I... I don't even know what I'm supposed to do about this. I have this child pretty much trying to reach out for help. You know, he really wants my help. But then I got... This guy, Edgar... Trying to be controlling and manipulative. Now he's threatening me. He's been threatening me. We're friends. We're friends. As soon as I, did you see that, you guys? As soon as I start talking about it, he wants to say we're friends. Or maybe that's Michael saying we're friends. I don't want to have any disrespect towards any of you guys. You know, y'all came through. You reached out to me. I reached back with open arms. I'm trying to collect a story from you guys. And I just want to know what's going on. What happened? This happened a very long time ago. Do y'all even know what year it is? Do you know what year it is? Red. No. It's like it took it, it took them a second. It was like they were talking amongst themselves. Do you know what year it is? Do you know what year it is? No, we don't know. It's 2023. It's been a very, very long time. Argument. Argument. Well, I understand it was an argument. I understand it was an argument. But what I want to know is how did the argument inspire you to do what you did to these children what caused this maybe you had demons that you were battling yourself you know is that a possibility I think that's a possibility yeah I definitely think that's a possibility see so you guys there's the thing which I mentioned this in the last video. They do good at first and it's like they start getting really quiet like they're losing all the energy. So it takes them a little bit of time to gain more energy to be able to keep responding to me. I feel deeply that they're really trying to tell me exactly what happened. You know both of them. And I've even had the grandma Ow. kill. Kill. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Kill. Is an argument what caused the argument kill? That doesn't make any sense. But like I was saying, I've had the grandmother come through. I had the grandfather come, come through, which I think that was Edgar's father. You know, the only one that I haven't heard from is the little girl named Nell and the mother that died giving birth to Nell. So maybe Edgar really did just go over the, you know, went over the top. You know, his wife ended up dying. You know, something happened. Killed his children. I don't know, this is really wild. I've never really dealt 
with this type something's of something's wrong. Something's wrong. Yeah, boy, there's something wrong. Can you let me know what's wrong? What's going on? Let me know. Is there someone else trying to come through? Maybe a more powerful entity trying to come through? And it's like they're just really struggling. Even Maybe they just don't remember. You know, it happened so long ago. I know spirits, it's hard for them to remember certain things. You know, when things happen so suddenly, it's like they don't remember nothing. I've gotten a lot. 18. 18. Something's wrong. 18. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Was the mom 18 years old when she died? Michael, can you let me know if that's true? I don't know what 18 is supposed to mean. 18 spirits are here? I don't know. I need you to be a little more clearer than that. You see, you notice how the devices just stop going off. Speak. Speak. I've been speaking. I've been talking to you. You said that there was something wrong. I was just trying to figure out what was going on. Who's here with me right now? What is your name? Let me know what your name is. I don't think this is Michael anymore. Relation. Relation. Look at the rim pod. Whoa. Guys, I'm getting really hot. Just standing here. It's like something's right in my face. I am sweating. I am burning up. Carol. Carol. I don't know who Carol is. But yeah, I'm starting to have a feeling that maybe I should just back off for the night before something crazy happens. Is there someone else here? Who else is here with me? Who's Carol? Show me that you're here. No fucking way. Did you see that? Holy shit. Dude. This just fell over. I mean, it flew. It flew. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely wrapping this up for tonight, you guys. That, that. And I just mentioned how I felt like heat in my face. Something's here that's evil. And it, it's, yeah, that's not good. I don't like that at all. I don't like that. I think the KT just went off. Look, look, KT's going off. Who is that? Who just did that? Wow. Wow, yeah, wow. You scared me. Who is that? Edgar, was that you? Now, guys, I've gotten my K2 meter knocked off. 
quite a few times. That's the first time the Flux 2 has ever felt like that. And, you know, that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty heavy object, you know, for spirits to move like that. that that's wild that that happened. Do you have anything else to say? Free. 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 Crazy, ain't it? So what did we learn tonight, you guys? Don't call out evil spirits. You know, I had been getting pretty much threats pretty much the whole investigation. Watch out. You know, I can't protect you. It's like they knew something was going to happen. Something was going to come through. Something definitely evil is here or was here. It said free. The Flux 2 answered that it was gone after the prayer. So hopefully it worked. I'm not too sure about that. Maybe it's the evil entity lying again. You know, that's been pretty common here lately. But um, it seems like the story has changed a little bit. It seems like maybe... Michael was blamed for something that he didn't do. You know, if you go back on the last two videos, he did mention he was innocent multiple times, you know. So it seems like to me his life was taken, you know, possibly by his dad. And that's just, that's unfair to him, you know. This whole situation is very sad. It's very tragic. I can't believe, like, like I told y'all earlier, earlier in the video I've never dealt with anything like this especially inside my own home this is a really wild experience for me um the flux 2 flying off just blew my mind this stuff is for real you guys you know you don't go dabbling with evil spirits or trying to challenge them in a way I guess that's what I was doing or that's what they thought that I was doing was challenging it so um hope y'all enjoyed this video Leave your thoughts down below. Um, if you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Drop those comments down below. Subscribe to the channel, you guys, please. I am so close to 300 subscribers. Instagram link, if you want to give me a follow on Instagram, all that's down in the description. The um, gear that you see me using for Ghost Stop, there is a link. You can shop through the link. Save you some money on the website. But, um, yeah, you guys, I'm gonna. this is going to be the final video. For this little situation, we're going to move on to other things in the next one. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Remember to keep it spooky, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.